Okay, we are going to start this uh, meeting. We do have a translator, and uh, let me turn that off real fast. Hang on. Uh, this is the North Side Ellis Avenue area water and sewer improvements community design meeting. This is in Council District 2, and I just noticed that we have Myra Camacho, and she is from Council District 2 office. Myra, did you want to say anything before we start? Hi, good evening. It's Maida. Uh, just uh, we're happy to be here. It's a lot of information. We hope anyone um, can take notes and uh, any questions that we have bilingual um, translators and uh, we will have the meeting, I believe, recorded. Am I correct? Yes, ma'am. All righty. Well, thank you so much. Okay. And I'm going to turn this over to Zach, who is your project manager and Martina is your translator. Zach. Thank you, Sally. Um, the agenda for today's meeting is um, here. After introduction, we'll go over the project overview. We'll show the project area and we we'll answer some of the frequently asked questions. And at the end, we'll go over the timeline of the project. So, why are we doing this improvement project? Fort Worth Water Project is replacing water and sewer lines that have a high risk of failure. The risk of failure is determined based on the uh, water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection data, age of the line, line material, lead service lines, and cast iron lines. Your project team includes myself, Zach Zucker Salehi, and my direct phone number is 817 392 8695. And my email address is abolfazl.zakersalehi at fortworthtexas.gov. And our engineering design consultant is Transystem, and their project manager, uh, Mr. Hobbs, is also on this call with us. Zach, can we stop for just a second? Yeah. We need to go back and do the translation. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, okay. we, can, we can stop from here. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la, la Junta de Diseño um, para los Mejoramientos de la área de Northside y Ellis Avenue. Ahora es lunes, octubre 23 de 2023. 23, um, la junta comenzó a las seis y media y es un, una cita arbitral. En la agenda ahora vamos a hacer introducciones, el, la descripción del proyecto, el área del proyecto, las preguntas más comunes y la cronología. Next slide, please. Mm -hmm. um, Una de las preguntas es por qué estamos haciendo estos mejoramientos. Um, la ciudad de Fort Worth, pero decía reemplazando líneas de agua y drenaje que tienen alto riesgo de fracasar. El riesgo de fracasar está es, está um, desperdiciando base de la, los El, um, por varios métodos. Um, primero, en la historia de las uh, fracturas rotas de agua de las líneas principales, um, el historia de fugas, la CCTV, la antigüedad de la línea, la materia de la línea, um, lin tubos de plomo de cebricio y hierro fund, um, niñas de hierro fundido. Next slide. Mm -hmm. um, el equipo para este proyecto incluye el gerente del proyecto um, Aldolfo Zacají. Ahí tienen el um, ahí está listo listado el correo electrónico y su número es 
y el consultor, el consultor de diseño de ingeniería es Transystem con el principal Mike Hobbs. So what drives this capital improvement project? This project will replace cast iron water lines on Ellis Avenue, Northwest 26th Street, Northwest 25th Street, West Exchange Avenue, Northwest 23rd Street, Northwest 22nd Street, Central Avenue, and North Main Street. To address frequent main breaks, Fort Worth Water Management has committed to replacing of minimum 20 miles of cast iron pipe per year. Currently, uh, there are 100 miles of cast iron mains at different stages of design for replacement in fiscal year of 2023 and beyond. ¿Qué es lo que maneje este proyecto de mujer, mejoramientos de capital? Es, para este proyecto estamos reemplazando líneas de agua que tienen, que son de hierro fundido. En estas líneas, en estas calles que están listadas. En orden de reducir las roturas de tubería de agua, la gerencia del Departamento de Agua de la ciudad de Fort Worth ha comitado a reemplazar a lo mínimo de 20 millas de hierro fundido cada año. Hasta ahora están 100 millas de tubería de agua de hierro fundido en varias etapas de diseño para reemplazar hasta año, hasta este año fiscal uh, 2000 here we have the map of the project. Uh, this water capital improvement project is uh, located in Council District 2, and the construction will impact the North Side Neighborhood Association and the Inter District 2 Alliance area, as well as the North Side businesses. ¿Qué parte de la ciudad va a impactar este proyecto de mejoramientos? Aquí miran una mapa de las calles. Está, este proyecto está en el Consejo del Distrito 2 y el construcción va a impactar la estación de Northside entre Distal 2 Alianza y varios negocios de el Northside, del Northside. Sí, del Northside. Um, what are the boundaries of Fort Worth Water Project? Existing water and sanitary sewer mains will be replaced in an area bound by uh, on the north side, Northwest 26th Street, on the east side, North Main Street, on the south side, East Central Avenue, on the west side, Clinton Avenue. Landmarks include Fort, Fort Worth Stockyard and Fort Worth Fire Station number 12, Marine Creek, and businesses. ¿Qué son los límites de este proyecto de agua para la ciudad de Fort Worth? Es, es, ten, tenemos li, uh, líneas de agua y drenaje existentes que van a estar reemplazados en las áreas que están limitadas por el norte, el Northwest 26th Street, por el eso o eso el North Main Street, para el sur, el East Central Avenue, y para el eso, Clinton Avenue. Uh, muchos uh, momentos de notoriedad son el Fort Worth Stockyard, la estación de bomberos número 12, Marine Creek, y varios negocios. Project. Area includes Ellis Avenue from Northwest Twenty uh, Sixth Street to West Central Avenue, water and sewer replacement. West Exchange Avenue from Clinton Avenue to North Main Street, water and sewer. La área de proyecto incluye estas calles que están listadas y vamos a estar desplazando la agua y el drenaje. Um, Continuation of the project area, Northwest 25th Street from the alley west of Ellis Avenue to North Main Street, water. Northwest 24th Street from Ellis Avenue to North Main Street, 
water replacement. West Central Avenue from Ellis Avenue to North Main Street water replacement. North Main Street from East Central Avenue to Northeast 14th Street water replacement. En las calles listadas vamos a estar reemplazando las líneas de agua. Okay. Northwest 23rd Street from Ellis Avenue to North Main Street water replacement. Northwest uh, 22nd Street from Ellis Avenue to North Main Street water replacement. Northwest 21st Street from Ellis Avenue to North Main Street water. En las calles listadas vamos a estar reemplazando las líneas de agua. Will our water be turned off? Water be, uh, will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when the service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line. And one more time when the service is transferred from the temporary water line to the new line. This switchovers are done during the daytime and the contractor will knock on the door and inform the customers when the water will be turned turned off. The transfer typically takes 30 minutes per house or business. Buena pregunta que tenemos es si se van a pagar la agua. Um, la agua sí se va a pagar por unos 15 a 30 minutos cuando el servicio está transferrada de la línea existente a una línea temporal de agua. Uh, y cuando la línea, el servicio está transferrada de la temporal a la nueva línea de servicio. Um, los cambios van a ser entre el día. El contratista va a tocar a la puerta para dejar a los, a los dueños o los residentes de la casa um, a darle la información que se le van a pagar el agua. Y también uh, casi toman como unos 30 minutos por casa o negocio. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during the construction phase. In the summer month, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in above ground line. And during the winter month, water will be continually flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers should uh, also keep their faucets dripping to avoid uh, having the line freeze. And the bill for the uh, for your water usage while you're on the temporary line is based on the average of the previous month's usage. Um, como una pregunta es cómo va a impactar la línea temporal a mi casa o la propiedad y la factura de agua. La tubería temporal asegura que no se no estén sin agua entre la fecha de construcción. En el verano, el corriente prevente, uh, bo, la, el corriente preventa que la agua se estancada en la línea que está arriba de la, en la calle. En los meses de invierno, la agua va a estar cor, cor, corriendo para en la agua en la línea temporal para asegurar que no se encogele la línea y preguntamos que los los clientes dejen sus llaves gotando en la casa okay. la factura de agua va a depender cuando están en la línea cuando están en, conectados a la línea temporal está base en el medio de los uso de agua de los meses anterior de la construcción. We will need access to our property during construction. Uh, construction for this project will be mainly in the streets. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we'll contact you. And if an easement is needed for uh, for your property, the city land agent will be contacting you soon. Will sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer uh, service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property or easement line. And these cleanouts uh, provide crews uh, easy access if a backup or a blockage happens. 
Um, si sí, van a necesitar que entrar la propiedad entre la etapa de construcción, la construcción va, va a estar en la calle. Pero si la, el departamento de agua necesita que accesar su propiedad, le vamos a contactar. Si necesitan un sobre tumbe de, para su propiedad, propiedad, un agente de real, estado real de la ciudad va, va a estar contactando a usted. Si, otra pregunta es si el servicio de drenaje va a estar en tu retado. Um, no debe estar. Y vamos a poner um, unos, una pipa, una tubería para limpiar las líneas en la línea de, de propiedad o su verdumbe. Esto deja que, le, deja que los equipos pueden limpiar o accesar la línea cuando se bloquea o cuando está tapada. Will I have access to my driveway during construction? Well, we get to the construction phase, the inspector and the contractor will work with the businesses and residents that need driveway access during the active construction hours. So, otra pregunta es si se pueden adentrar a la propiedad usando um, la entrada entre la etapa de construcción. El inspector o el contratista van a uh, trabajar o comunicar con los negocios y residentes que necesitan acceso a las entradas entre las horas activas de construcción. How will construction impact the stockyard? Um, Fort Worth Water will coordinate the Fort Worth stockyard area when we are ready to begin construction. ¿Cómo va a afectar el construcción a los stockyards, a la área de los stockyards? El departamento de agua va a comunicar con esa área, con negocios de esa área, las asociaciones de esa área, antes que comenzamos en la construcción. Will the city trash truck pick up uh, my trash and recycling? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling cars to the opposite side of the street so the tra uh, trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Otra pregunta es si va a poder en la ciudad recoger la basura y reciclable. Um, si el lado de tu calle está ocupado entre el día de la basura, el contratista moverá los botes para que estén recogidos. Um, this project is in the design phase right now. And we will have more information after the contract is approved by the Fort Worth City Council. We will host a pre-construction meeting uh, with the contractor to set the start date for construction and to create a schedule for the streets that will be impacted. We will host a community construction meeting before the contractor breaks ground. Cronología. Hasta ahora, el proyecto está en etapa de diseño. Cuando vamos a tener más información, cuando el contactista está aprobado por el, el Consejo de la Ciudad de Fort Worth. Vamos a tener otra reunión para el, el antes que comenzamos construcción con el contactista para, para hacer en la fecha de el, la fecha de comienzo para construcción y para tener un una línea de tiempo para las calles que van a estar impactadas antes que comenzan a trabajar el contratista antes que comience a trabajar el contratista vamos a tener a otra junta de comunidad Uh, where can I get more information? You can go to the fortworthtexas.gov, which is the city's official website, 
and type in the project number, which is 103.751. And once you type in the number in the search bar, uh, the project name will pop up, which is Northside Ellis Avenue Area Water and Sewer Improvement. And on the project page, you can go to the bottom of the page and subscribe to the page. Uh, doing that, you will be notified whenever we update the page with any new information. And also a PDF of this PowerPoint and a link to the YouTube of this presentation will be posted on this project page in a couple of days. ¿Dónde pueden recibir más información? Si miran la dirección de web, pueden ir al go, no, pueden ir al www.fortworthtexas.gov GOV y pueden uh, entrar el número del proyecto 103751. Va a um, en la barra de busca. Um, en la página de la, la página principal va a salir el Mejoramiento de Northside Ellis Avenue Area, Agua y Drenaje, o Northside Ellis Avenue Area Water and Sewer Improvements. Uh, cuando viene el para agarrar, para recibir uh, más información en este proyecto, de la página de este proyecto, puede. Uh, ir hasta el bajo de la página y hace uh, es, selectas descubre a esta página. Um, also van a mandar un link del PDF de esta presentación y un link del YouTube video de esta presentación. Um, también va a estar uh, subida para esa página de proyecto, el proyecto de la página, página de proyecto. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? For emergencies, um, you can report them 24 hours a day at 817-392-4477. And you can select option one for emergencies. And this includes water main breaks and sewer backups. For non-emergencies, you can contact the same number, 817-392-4477. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and report your non-emergencies. You can also download the My Fort Worth app from App Store or Google Play, and you can report the uh, sewer overflows, leaks and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, uh, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns through that My Fort Worth app. ¿Qué es lo que pueden hacer si tienen una emergencia o otra uh, pregunta? Uh, en las emergencias, cuando están fracturas, roturas de agua o está uh, impactada el drenaje, uh, a, 24, a 24 horas del día pueden llamar al 817-392-4477. Y selecta la opción 1. Cuando tienen otro problema que no es emergencia, pueden llamar entre las horas de las 7 de la mañana hasta las 7 de la noche, lunes hasta el viernes. Um, el mismo número, 817-392-4477, y está cerrado entre las días de fiesta de la ciudad. Uh, también puede uh, selectar el app My FW o FW del Apple Store o el Google Play y ahí pueden a rope, a rope, a ro, ropetar um, desdobres de drenaje, fugas, fra, uh, rotadas de agua. Um, si están crevados las etapas de los miradores o están ya no los tienen, 
si alguien está robando agua, si tienen una evaluación de agua o si no tienen servicio de agua. O si tienen um, problemas con la presión del agua otro, o otro uh, problemas de sube, de drenaje. Once again, uh, your project team includes myself and my direct phone number is 817-392-8695. And my email is abofazl.zakersalihi at forkworthtexas.gov. And our design consultant is Transystem and their project manager is Mike Hobbs. And with that, uh, we are ready to take questions. Uh, this is council member Flores uh, listening in and uh, this question is to you uh, Abu Fasi. Yeah. I know that earlier you had mentioned that the closer you get to the streets in the stockyards area that the stockyards uh, will be notified um, I want to make sure that you start with uh, one important group which is the stockyards business association mm -hmm. as as well as the majestic group uh, those two groups right there uh, will facilitate uh, the notification uh, very greatly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That, that helps a lot. Yeah. Okay. And if you need their contact information, the points of contact, uh, please let my office know. Uh, my uh, district director, Myra, can mm -hmm. give you that information. Okay. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. And also, uh, I don't know if she managed to get online. Uh, the principal of All Saints Catholic School, uh, Dr. Prado, uh, I invited her to uh, see if she could attend the virtual meeting. Uh, hopefully she did attend, but uh, please also for good measure, make sure that uh, All Saints School and Church get these notifications as well as they are nearby these streets that will be affected by the project work. Yeah, yeah. We we typically inform a wider um, radius than the actual project is located at because the traffic will be impacted. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely notify them too. Yeah, so that gives them the opportunity to make adjustments as far as their uh, drop off and pick up uh, routes are concerned. So thank you. Those are my comments. Okay. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Flores. This is um, Dr. Prado. I actually was able to make ah. it online. So I appreciate it because that was that was my comment as well. Or I guess my, my concern is we are directly off of Ellis Avenue and that does um, pertain, or I guess that does affect our pre-K building. And so if that water is going to be turned off during the day with our students in the building, right. then we just need to have a good idea so that way we can make um, back arrangements for them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely coordinate uh, with them. Yeah, and with you. Yeah. Very good. Uh, Thank you for attending, Dr. Prado. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we will do a, a YouTube link to the, a YouTube video link um, of this WebEx meeting that will go on the project page. Do you want to scroll back, Zach, mm -hmm. so they yeah. can find it? So, um, yeah. And we'll also post a PDF of this PowerPoint that you can share with people that who were not able to attend the meeting. Yeah. Did we miss anything? If I could just ask one, just one quick question real quick. I know that it's in the design phase right now, but mm -hmm. do you have an estimated timeline of when this is possibly anticipated to, to begin? Is it gonna happen like spring, next fall? So, uh, we were originally planning um, next summer, but we are adding some scope to the project, which which might push it a little further. So, so uh, for now, I would say next fall, but but this is um, just an estimate, and we'll we'll uh, we'll have more information on the timeline on the pre-construction meeting. Uh, but this is just my estimate as of now. In nine months or ten months from now. 
thank you. That that's helpful for us as we begin to plan for the beginning of next school year. Okay. Yeah. Is your address 2006 North Houston? It is. That's our main address. But then we also have an address off of Ellis Avenue for our for our pre-K building as well. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Well, thank you for joining us tonight. Again, um, this is Monday, so those the PDF of the PowerPoint and the video should be on the project page no later than Wednesday afternoon. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone.